This is a squish comparison between the Schoon Cup and the Lolly Cup, both in a size small. Don't forget that you can compare these cups with other cups that I have on hand by visiting the link in the description below. This comparison was requested by Chow Tran. Thank you for sending in your request. I'm going to place both of these cups in the palms of my hands, give them a squish, swap hands, give them a squish again, and then compare the rims. Um, so the Lolly Cup is one of those cups that are, are hard to uh, do a comparison with because of the way that they designed it. So uh, the Lolly Cup has these channels in it, and you can see it goes all the way around the cup. And these channels make the cup want to fold up easier when you are going to insert it um, and smaller depending on how you are folding it. And it also, or they also want to make this cup pop open. So it um, flexes easy when you need it to, but also wants to push against uh, whatever is holding it, your fingers or your vaginal walls. So it's, it is kind of hard to get a reading on this. Um, I'm going to try it anyway if my camera will focus for me here, but I will say that the Schoon Cup uh, feels more firm even when I pinch it and then I release it. I could feel more of a push against my finger from the Schoon Cup. So here is the inside of the Schoon Cup. And inside of the Lolly Cup. I don't know if you can uh, see that. It, start, it starts off slowly to smash in and then all of a sudden it just pops. That's what the channels on the Lolly Cup do, does, do, does, do's. <laughs> um, it, it just gets to that point where there is some force behind it and then it all of a sudden wants to collapse. So uh, it's just a really great design. Uh, I, I think it's it's an awesome feature that this cup has. So here is again the Lolly Cup. And the Schoon. And just the rims. And that was the Schoon Cup and the Lolly Cup, both in a size small.